Yes, hello to you all uh, once more. Welcome back uh, to uh, YouTube's uh, classic uh, dirt bike TV and I hope you're uh, continuing to enjoy my video content with regards uh, looking at these old school uh, vintage uh, dirt bikes. Now we do have another uh, British uh, classic for you next. Now uh, this particular machine is of course uh, not an original bike from this uh, particular year because this is a completely uh, remanufactured copy of uh, one of those uh, original uh, 1974 machines. Now the bike we're talking about of course is uh, the old uh, CCM uh, machine so uh, let's dive straight into that video and take a look at uh, John Griffiths' uh, 1974 580 CCM. Now it is quite well known that the great Alan Clues did build uh, some iconic four-stroke race bikes during his long association uh, with his Bolton-based uh, CCM company and none more so than this 1974 uh, model that we're looking at here. Although this uh, featured bike isn't of course uh, one of those rare uh, 1974 originals because uh, this is a remanufactured replica of that uh, 74 uh, Clues uh, racer. But the original uh, 1974 CCMs that were manufactured by Alan Clues in his Schiffnell Street premises in Bolton uh, were certainly great bikes and they did sell in big numbers in that year with uh, their trademark uh, tubular steel uh, chrome plated chassis and his big uh, B50 BSA derived engines and of course that uh, polished alloy uh, fuel tank but uh, trying to find a stock original example of one of these rarities is uh, nigh on impossible in this modern day and our original parts are even harder to locate than trying to find uh, a complete bike which is uh, where our featured uh, bike builder uh, comes into his own who's uh, manufacturing uh, the chassis and many of the other parts that are needed uh, to build these 74 uh, replicas. And currently, uh, Joe Maxwell of uh, Joe Maxwell Engineering in Thornhill in Scotland uh, on the Scottish borders has a full order book uh, to construct more of these bikes and uh, supply spare parts uh, to keep them going. Now, on the day that I grabbed uh, these pictures and video clips, uh, Joe Maxwell had uh, just completed the bike and he'd brought it along to his uh, local track in Thornhill in Dumfries, uh, where the bike's brand new owner, uh, John Griffiths, uh, pictured here from Northern Ireland, uh, was due uh, to take delivery. And then what's more, uh, John had an excellent opportunity to test out his brand new bike because he'd entered it to race at this uh, Scottish Classic uh, race event. So uh, what better way to give it its first Virgin uh, race debut than by putting it on the track uh, straight away before loading it up and then heading back to his native uh, Northern Ireland. But uh, onto the particulars uh, of our featured uh, remanufactured uh, CCM. Now, uh, this bike here, as I said, was uh, originally ordered by Irishman John Griffiths, and as soon as uh, the deposit for the bike was paid, uh, Joe Maxwell uh, then set about gathering up all of the parts uh, to build uh, the bike. Now, it's a T45 aircraft grade tubing that's normally used on these uh, JME frames, and uh, once uh, all of the construction on the frames are completed, then uh, they are all uh, chrome plated, uh, as of course uh, were all of the other uh, 74 originals uh, back uh, in the day. But uh, also, if you're quite handy uh, throwing the spanners around the workshop, then you can even buy a complete frame kit uh, from Joe Maxwell, which uh, I think, as I remember, gives you the 74 chassis and the swing arm. Uh, the steering head bearings and uh, an upgraded oil filtration system that sits inside uh, the frame and I think it has a uh, stronger engine uh, mounting as well and uh, these are stronger than the ones that were fitted to the original 
1974s. But the kit it all comes chrome-plated and ready to fit your own BSA B50 motor inside. And as I mentioned, these frames and their swing arm are identical to the original Allen Clues 1974 design. So, as with uh, many of the other Clues uh, CCMs, these 1974s uh, come with the motor's engine oil housed inside uh, the frame and it's uh, filled uh, through this little plug here just in front of the bike's uh, fuel tank. So, uh, the engine oil is stored inside the front frame uh, down tube and uh, obviously it's gravity fed until it gets uh, to the bottom where it then it exits and it goes through a small filter before being pumped around the engine and then returned to the frame through a return pipe that's fitted onto the side of that filler plug. But it's certainly a tried and tested system, although you can upgrade this oil filter system further by using a cartridge type oil filter that's bolted onto the outside of the chassis and uh, this particular oil storage system on these bikes is very reliable as long as you make sure that you uh, wash out the frame and clean uh, that filter regularly but uh, as I mentioned uh, these uh, Joe Maxwell chassis are almost uh, identical in every respect uh, to Alan Clues's uh, original uh, design but not only is Joe Maxwell uh, making these 74 bikes. Uh, he's also uh, making replica frames uh, for the iconic uh, 1978 350 uh, CCM trials bikes as well. So uh, Joe is uh, without doubt uh, keeping alive uh, all the history and the legacy of the late uh, Alan Clues and uh, some of the fantastic uh, bikes that Alan uh, conceived uh, during his time with CCM. Now by the time uh, John Griffiths had first ordered this 74 uh, CCM from Joe Maxwell and then taking actual delivery at this race event here at Thornhill, it was almost a full year uh, for John to wait but uh, as you'd expect uh, Joe doesn't build these uh, 74s on a mass production basis uh, because all of these 580 CCMs are built uh, to order and uh, to the specific uh, customer's uh, requirements with any special additions that uh, he or maybe even she wants bolted uh, onto their uh, particular example. But certainly it's these uh, BSA B50 engine parts that are the hardest uh, components to find, particularly uh, the engine casings and some of the motors internals but thankfully uh, there are a few uh, companies that are now uh, making replica parts for these uh, BSA engines and uh, in fact Joe uh, also uh, makes uh, many parts of his own to build uh, these four-stroke uh, motors so maybe if you're looking uh, for engine and bike parts for your old uh, 74 and maybe even some of the other CCM models and it's certainly uh, worth uh, checking out Joe's website at joemaxwellengineering.com But if you know your CCM history then you'll already know that it was these old BSA B54 stroke motors that Alan Clues used on the original 74s and this particular engine here is the popular 580 cc unit and this has had quite a few improvements over the stock original and the most obvious of course is that uh, these remanufactured uh, B50s have had some of their uh, cooling fins uh, machined off just to uh, reduce its mass uh, ever so slightly and uh, to help stop uh, mud from jamming up between the fins when the bikes raced in uh, very muddy uh, conditions but this process uh, does uh, give the engine uh, a much more kind of works type look over uh, the bog standard original uh, B50s 
And uh, also, uh, just as in uh, the original 1974s, these uh, B-50s uh, used the motor's engine casings uh, as mounting points for the bike's footrest rather than uh, having them bolted uh, onto the frame in the conventional uh, manner. Now, uh, you may think that this uh, kind of position would uh, put some undue stress and strain on those quite uh, vulnerable alloy casings, but uh, even back in the day, uh, there were no reports uh, of casing failures or any other uh, kind of breakages while uh, these uh, footrests uh, systems uh, were fixed to the outer casings. And uh, these particular uh, footrests that we're looking at here are once more uh, upgrades uh, to the original parts that Alan Clues uh, made uh, for this engine because uh, these are uh, much wider and much stronger than the stock items and uh, these are yet another uh, component that are made by uh, Joe Maxwell. But many of the engine's internals, like the, the crank, uh, the big end, uh, the piston, gearbox and clutch parts, uh, are uh, made by NEB Engineering, uh, of which I think uh, Joe Maxwell is a, an agent uh, for these kind of parts. But uh, without the likes of those uh, kind of uh, manufacturers like Joe Maxwell and NEB and a few others, it would be very difficult to actually source parts for these old uh, BSAs and uh, keep them uh, as a power source uh, to fit into these uh, CCM chassis. But back in 1974, uh, Alan Clues would have uh, probably fitted an AMOL concentric uh, carburetor uh, onto this engine to supply its uh, fuel, but uh, as you can see, it's a much more uh, modern Makuni that's now used uh, on these reproduction bikes, which uh, I think will be uh, much more tunable than the older uh, Amal, and of course they are easier uh, to source uh, as well. And the replacement uh, Makuni uh, was also connected uh, to both the cylinder head and the alloy airbox by way uh, of a pair of rubber boots on either side, just to feed that air-fuel mixture uh, into the motor. Once again, it was a big bore exhaust pipe that was used on these uh, B50 engines. And uh, I think this was made uh, of stainless steel, as I remember, and uh, it had no baffles at all or uh, silencer to muffle uh, the sound uh, from that fantastic uh, four-stroke engine. But this front header pipe uh, then uh, led on to this kind of stubby, short, uh, open tailpipe that exited here on the right-hand side uh, of the bike. But again, this exhaust system uh, was uh, almost identical to the ones on the Allen Clues bikes of 1974. But without doubt, uh, what Allen Clues did uh, with these old BSA B50s in the early uh, 1970s was quite remarkable because uh, when Allen uh, first bought over uh, the failed BSA competition department in the early 1970s, uh, BSA uh, wouldn't give Alan any access uh, to the works uh, BSA engines. And so uh, Alan uh, just then took a standard uh, B50 uh, BSA motor and then he tuned it for more power and more uh, performance. And so as we move on to the bike's front uh, forks, which... Uh, as you've probably already uh, guessed, uh, aren't uh, the forks that CCM originally fitted uh, onto the 74s uh, back then, mainly due to the fact that you just can't find original CCM forks or even hubs uh, for that matter uh, these days. And various uh, combinations of suspension units and front and rear hubs have been used on these uh, reproduction bikes uh, in the past. And uh, I've certainly seen uh, CZ or even Michael hubs uh, used on these bikes, but uh, this time round it looks like uh, Joe Maxwell's uh, opted to use a uh, Husqvarna forks and a pair of front and rear uh, Husqvarna hubs uh, to put this bike together uh, for John Griffiths. 
But once again, both the front and the rear brake backplates are the genuine Husqvarna items. And uh, as I recall, I think uh, these Husky brakes were pretty good uh, for an old school uh, shoe and drum type system. So that's probably uh, one of the reasons that uh, Joe's uh, used them. Uh, with the other, of course, uh, being that there's uh, plenty of these Husky hubs and backplates uh, going around, which is uh, the exact opposite to the stock uh, clues items, uh, which are uh, almost like gold dust in the CCM world. But to sort out uh, that rear suspension uh, on our John Griffiths uh, 580 racer, I think it's a pair of uh, good quality rock shocks that have got the job of keeping uh, the back of this bike from bouncing around the track. And once more, uh, these again are uh, top quality uh, gas and oil filled uh, units that will certainly be a lot better than the old school uh, girdlings or other uh, 70s shocks uh, that were bolted on uh, to Alan Clues's machines in that uh, year. But these shocks uh, did have some uh, means of making uh, minor adjustments to the rebound and damping, so uh, in that respect, uh, they were uh, totally suitable for use on uh, one of these replica CCM chassis. Now here at the drive end of our CCM, that uh, rear uh, sprocket, the uh, drive chain, the bottom chain guide and uh, rear brake operating arm are all uh, brand new parts, which I'm uh, led to believe are uh, all made by uh, Joe uh, Maxwell. And uh, to adjust uh, the chain, we've got these cam adjusters here on the front of the bike's uh, swing arm so that John will be able to uh, slacken or tighten uh, the uh, tension on that rear uh, chain. And also uh, to operate that rear brake uh, lever, uh, a stainless steel uh, cable is also used uh, as opposed to, of course, uh, a solid uh, piece of steel rod, which would probably have been fitted uh, to the Clues uh, 74 bikes. But of course, what made these 1974 CCMs instantly recognisable uh, were these uh, superbly handcrafted alloy slimline tanks. And uh, once more, this feature tank here is a remanufactured copy of that original uh, 74 design. And this one here is made from 1.6 millimeter sheet uh, alloy, and it comes uh, complete uh, with uh, the copies of the CCM badges uh, from the day and also uh, with the 1974 Monza style uh, locking fuel cap there uh, on the top. But for other models in the CCM range, quite often uh, these uh, tanks were also painted black at one time, but uh, for me personally, this uh, nicely polished alloy look was without doubt uh, the way to go. And it certainly uh, was slim enough to allow the rider uh, to keep a tight profile uh, while uh, they were riding the bike. But as I said, uh, these tanks are one of the components that certainly stood out on the 1974s. Now the bike seat, as you'd expect, is all uh, made up from uh, new reproduction parts and that also includes uh, a new seat base, uh, foam insert and uh, replacement cover. Although uh, I'm not exactly sure what's happened to our featured uh, seat cover here. It doesn't uh, seem to be as tight as maybe it should be, but uh, in terms of doing its job, uh, these uh, CCM seats did have generous amounts of padding and uh, overall it was quite a decent place uh, to lay your backside down on and uh, with the limited amount of travel that you had on these old uh, CCM uh, bikes, every inch of padding that you could get on the bike seat was very welcome, especially uh, when it came to soaking up the bumps on a pretty uh, rough track. So the bike's uh, side panels, uh, once again, are made uh, from high quality sheet alloy and then uh, these are uh, finished off with these uh, rolling thunder uh, CCM uh, graphics and just to remove uh, the panels uh, from the frame. It was just a pair of these kind of push and turn 
uh, fasteners uh, that were fitted, which uh, made removal and refitting uh, quite easy. But back in the glory days of the 1970s, these uh, panels would have probably uh, been manufactured in uh, brittle uh, fiberglass, which, uh, as you'd expect, are uh, all long gone now, but uh, Joe Maxwell's uh, alloy replacements uh, will certainly take a lot more punishment than the old uh, fiberglass uh, items. So the front and the rear mudguards on John's 580 uh, CCM are uh, plastic reproduction parts uh, because uh, these again in the 1970s uh, would have probably been made uh, from fiberglass because at that time uh, fiberglass was a material that was uh, light, uh, relatively cheap to produce, although uh, as you know it was uh, quite brittle if you uh, dropped your bike or maybe if you banged uh, these parts against something uh, solid. But as I said previously, thankfully uh, these hard to get parts are now being uh, reproduced uh, by a plastic company so that we can still uh, access uh, these uh, rare plastic items to fit uh, onto our aging clues uh, competition machines. And as we move on to the nerve center of our 580 CCM, uh, now all of these controls are, as you'd expect, brand new parts uh, beginning uh, with a pair of modern style rental handlebars and uh, most uh, or all of the other uh, components are uh, simply off the shelf uh, motocross items. Although uh, the control cables, including uh, the clutch, the front brake, and even the bike's throttle twist grip gasser are all supplied uh, by Venn Hill. But summing up, uh, there is no doubt that this is another quality build from Joe Maxwell. And uh, okay, it's not a complete carbon copy of that 74 that Alan Clues made in that year. And this is purely because of all the pattern parts like the Husqvarna forks and the Husky uh, front and rear hubs that Joe's uh, used. But then again, uh, he's only used these parts because uh, the stock original CCM bits and pieces are no longer available and they're virtually impossible uh, to find them uh, second hand. And if he weren't uh, using uh, these kind of replacement items, then uh, these bikes would probably uh, never get built uh, at all. But uh, in terms of an original stock 1974 580 uh, CCM Clues Classic, uh, this example here uh, of uh, Joe Maxwell's is probably as close as you're ever going to find uh, to the real deal uh, from that year. But in terms of the bike's aesthetic looks, uh, this is more or less uh, what you would have seen if you'd came across one of these four strokers in a dealership window way back in 1974. So once again, here is uh, that lucky recipient uh, of our 1974 Joe Maxwell uh, CCM. It's John Griffiths from uh, Northern Ireland, who, uh, as I mentioned, uh, these pictures uh, were taken uh, of John just before he was about to uh, give his Joe Maxwell creation its first taste of racing in uh, the dirt. And as I remember, I think the bike almost uh, won its first race on its inaugural uh, competitive outing, although it did suffer a slight uh, minor mechanical issue while uh, John was in second uh, position. And uh, this was all sorted out for its uh, next uh, race, but it was a fantastic first race debut uh, for the big CCM. And uh, since then, uh, John's uh, chalked up a good collection of race wins uh, while racing this bike in his native uh, Northern Ireland. But when you take the time to consider that this was only the second CCM model that Alan Clues produced uh, since he brought out his first uh, official Clues racer uh, back in 1973. And these uh, 74s with the polished alloy fuel tank uh, are often uh, still regarded as one of the more popular models uh, from the Alan Clues uh, Bolton 
factory. Now, whether this bike here is original or not, uh, who actually cares? It's so much more important uh, that we keep alive the memory and the legacy of the great Alan Clues. And it's thanks to the likes of Joe Maxwell and a few others that they can all uh, make it happen by showcasing his engineering excellence. So there you have it, another uh, fantastic uh, looking British made uh, CCM uh, machine for you there. Not of course uh, an original bike as I said because uh, these uh, 74 original CCMs are becoming very very hard uh, to come by uh, these days and as I said uh, even spare parts for these bikes are uh, super uh, rare but uh, it's all thanks to Joel Maxwell Engineering that uh, he's managed to keep alive uh, that legacy of the great uh, Alan Clues. So anyhow, I hope you will continue to uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, maybe even just revisit from time to time to take a look at more of these old uh, school classics. But uh, until the next time, thanks again for watching and it's uh, goodbye for now.